1777, with winter setting in and the British at Philadelphia, George Washington chose to make the winter camp at Valley Forge. So what was life like at Valley Forge? The Continental Army was on the brink of collapse. There wasn't much to eat. The troops dined on a meal of rice and vinegar, or fire cakes, a gross mixture of flour and water. As well as short food supplies, there was a lack of clothing, blankets, or shoes. The lack of shoes made the soldiers leave bloody footprints in the snow. Disease spread quickly throughout the camp because of the crowded tents and cabins. Typhoid fever, pneumonia, and smallpox took the lives of many soldiers. Washington was desperate to keep his troops from deserting. He made lashings and shooting by firing squad as punishment. The winter at Valley Forge might have signaled the end of the American Revolution. But George Washington didn't give up. Prussian General Friedrich von Steuben joined the camp and trained the Continental Army. The French joined the American fight for freedom, sending military supplies and troops. George Washington could now focus on his strategies to defeat the British. In March 1778, Washington led his troops with their confidence restored out of Valley Forge to face the British again. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Get your copy of Simple History, The American Revolution, available now on Amazon.